Hello, and welcome to the Workforce Flathead Opportunity Fair. We're glad to have everyone joining us virtually. My name is Sarah Gomes with Job Service Kalispell, and I will be moderating this panel. A few housekeeping items to review. All of these webinars are being recorded and will be posted on workforceflathead.com as well as Job Service Kalispell's YouTube channel. We will save some time at the end of this webinar to answer any questions you may have. So please submit your questions using the Q&A feature on your screen and we'll gladly go through them uh, towards the end of the presentation. And then lastly, we will again share contact information of how to contact our presenter and uh, follow up on applying for some great jobs. So today we have Randy with us to talk a little bit about Pursuit Collection and what opportunities they have. Hi, Randy. Hello, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Definitely. So if you don't mind, let's begin with getting a better feel for how you fit into the whole company and the big picture and who you are and what you do. Well, I'm, I'm happy to talk about that. So uh, the, the name of the company that I work with is called Pursuit. And Pursuit, we are a Denver, Colorado-based company, and we are a hospitality company. That is what we do. Uh, we do hotels, restaurants, resorts, uh, things of that nature. We also have a strong retail presence. We've got a lot of retail outlets and things like that. And like as is, our, is, is the case in Montana, uh, all of our locations are located in beautiful, inspiring places. So that's, that's a part of the pursuit vision. So that's where you will find us. Uh, I'm the human resources director. We call me the people and culture director for the Glacier Park collection in pursuit. And here again, the way we get our name, the Glacier Park collection, is that we are a collection of hospitality properties in and around Glacier National Park, uh, including uh, five main locations, the northernmost one being in Waterton Lakes, Alberta. Uh, that's where you'll find our Prince of Wales Hotel. Uh, and all the way around the park, uh, right into Whitefish, where you'll find the property that we're going to talk about today. Wonderful. Well, thank you for giving us a better understanding of the big picture. So it, I think we're all pretty excited to hear about what opportunities are out there with you. Wonderful. I'm happy to share it. I'll go ahead and stop my video and let you take over. So, so with that, as I as I mentioned, um, I'm I'm a human resources director by trade, and I've been living in beautiful places for 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 a long time. I've been very fortunate in that regard, and certainly none have been more beautiful uh, than Glacier National Park area, Montana. So I do have a, a presentation that I'm going to. Uh, show the group here. And then with that, uh, I'll go through that presentation. Uh, toward the end of the presentation, I will have the positions that we're currently looking to fill. Uh, and we definitely have a lot of opportunities for hospitality uh, professionals uh, this summer. Uh, and also, as we talk about this particular property, I should also mention that this property is a year-round property. And so here again, uh, the, the, the opportunity doesn't necessarily have to stop uh, at the end of the summer. So, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And so hopefully everybody is seeing a screen that says pursuit on it with a beautiful mountain vista. I can sure see it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So this uh, this particular shot was taken in Montana. I'm sure probably a lot of people on this call uh, rec recognize that. But as I mentioned, that's what pursuit is about. We are we are found in places that are both beautiful and inspiring. As a matter of fact, this is our mission statement. And I, I do want to take just a moment and talk about this mission statement because I think it's important because when pursuit uh, and I started to chat about me coming to work with them about three years ago. I know this mission state was, was important to me. So at Pursuit, our mission is to connect guests and staff to iconic places through unforgettable and inspiring experiences. So our mission is to connect guests and staff to iconic places through unforgettable and inspiring experiences. So for me, as you can tell by my inflection, uh, the staff component of this was really exciting for me because most certainly if you're in the hospitality business, you want to be able to connect with your guest and connect your guests 
to whatever experience it is that you're trying to share with them. But I think it's wonderful and interesting, and it was impactful to me, that the word staff, and that means the employees, that means you and I, uh, part of our mission statement is to make sure that we have an amazing, unforgettable, and inspiring experience. And so here again, that's our mission statement, and that's why I wanted to take just a moment and talk to it. So pretty much everyone on the call will recognize this. This is a map of Glacier National Park, about a million square acres. And as I mentioned, we have properties that ring uh, the, the park. You have the Prince of Wales Hotel up here in Waterton Lakes, Alberta. You have St. Mary Village, where we've got a beautiful hotel, tiny homes. We've got retail centers, restaurants. We have a beautiful grocery store there. When you head down toward East Glacier Park, uh, that's where you'll find where I live, uh, and also the Glacier Park Lodge, the historic Glacier Park Lodge. As you head around the southern end of the park, you'll come to West Glacier. We have a lot of things going on in West Glacier. I do have a couple of photos that I'll show you of West Glacier, uh, including but not limited to, uh, we've got the Belton. We've got a number of gift shops. We've got a beautiful little miniature golf course. We've got an RV, a beautiful new RV park. And so lots, lots going on in West Glacier, which of course is the West Gateway to the park. And then in Whitefish, um, we uh, have the Grouse Mountain Lodge, which is our which is our year round property. And here again, uh, anyone that lives here or near here knows that Whitefish is an amazing place uh, to spend the summer, but also spend the winter uh, with a great ski mountain and uh, a lot going on in Whitefish. So here again, I'll, I'll talk real quickly about some of the other properties that we have uh, in and around Glacier National Park. We have the Glacier Park Lodge, which is over on the east side, shown here. We have St. Mary Village, which is the eastern gateway to the park, shown here. Here you can see the restaurant, coffee shop, retail area. Here's the hotel. I believe it's about 155 rooms. We've got a convenience store. We've got more retail space, restaurants. And just out of image to the left-hand side is our grocery store. So a lot going on in St. Mary Village. This is the Belton Chalet, a uh, very beautiful little boutique hotel. I believe it's only got 28 guest rooms and a couple of separate lodges uh, that we all, also rent out. A wonderful um, restaurant and culinary experience uh, at the Belton. And then of course, as you head north uh, out of Montana into Alberta, Canada, uh, you come upon our Prince of Wales Hotel, which is on the peak overlooking Waterton Lakes. So which brings us to our featured property today, Grouse Mountain Lodge. Uh, Grouse Mountain Lodge, as you can see from the slide, is a mountain style lodge located in beautiful Whitefish, Montana. Uh, Pursuit has operated uh, this particular property since 2011. Uh, what makes up the operation here at Grouse Mountain is uh, there's a, a, an excellent hotel, a wonderful restaurant called Logan's Bar and Grill, and also we do a lot of events. Uh, we do weddings, corporate events, class reunions, um, so a lot of events going on in both the summer and, and the winter. Here's another image of Grouse and the, the front entrance area. Here's the lobby. Here again, very Montana. We don't try to be anything else. We don't try to be somebody else. Uh, we love that we're in Montana and we want our guests to know uh, when they, from the time they wake up in the morning that they're in Montana and it's, they're someplace special. Here's Logan's. You see the big beautiful fireplace in the background. This is the general manager of the Grouse Mountain Lodge. This is Will Amea. Will is newer to the area. He's certainly not new to hospitality though. Uh, he actually moved here from Alaska 
where he was with another pursuit property. Uh, Will is actually originally from New Orleans and anyone who's been in New Orleans before knows that hospitality is the backbone of New Orleans. And so Will is the general manager of Grouse. So when you come work for us, uh, you will see this bright smiling face. This is pretty much what Will looks like every single day. All of our guest rooms have been renovated. Uh, very comfortable, very cozy. A lot of events. We do a lot of weddings there every year, uh, class reunions, family events, things of that nature. This is our executive chef, Mark Macarola. Here, this is one of the very few pictures in existence where he doesn't have a big smile on his face. As I mentioned, we are a hospitality property. That is what we do. We do food, beverage. Uh, we do a lot of different types of coffee drinks. And as I mentioned later, we have some openings for baristas as well. So as I mentioned, this slide talks about the positions that we're currently, we're currently hiring for. And so we're, we're looking for culinary professionals. Uh, we, we have culinary opportunities. As a matter of fact, uh, the, the picture I just showed you, uh, this is actually the property where Chef Macarola works, even though he's the executive chef for the entire collection. This is the property he calls home. So if you come on board and work with us at Grouse, you would actually work with Chef Mark uh, at Grouse. So our line cook one positions uh, start at $14 per hour with a $1,000 sign-on bonus. Line cook two at $12 an hour with a $500 sign-on bonus. If you come, would like to come wash dishes for us, you would start at $11 an hour with a $500 sign-on bonus. Servers, here again, our servers are extremely busy. We have a lot of, we have, we have dinner every night. We have a lot of events going on. Our servers are at 875 plus tips. Our baristas are at 875 plus tips. But also, I should also mention, if you apply for one of the barista positions, we have barista positions not only at Grouse, but also we have a couple other barista positions that are located elsewhere in the collection. So keep that in mind as you apply for that position. Uh, we have an amazing housekeeping team, uh, world-class, I would say. I've spent over 20 years in hospitality, and I would say this is one of the top housekeeping teams I've ever seen. Our housekeepers start at $14 per hour with a $1,500 sign-on bonus. $500 is paid after the first 30 days with the remaining 1,000 to be paid at the end of the season. We actually do have one or two front desk positions available, which start at $12 an hour. And here again, keep in mind, Grouse Mountain Lodge is a year round property. And so there is absolutely positively the opportunity to stay with us and work with us uh, year round. And then the little red, um, uh, la that last bullet is essentially just the website to our jobs board, which is www.jobsinglacier.com. And that pretty much concludes my presentation. And I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here in just a moment. Wonderful, thank you so much for sharing all that great information. I have to say personally, as you went through those images, it got me a bit, cause I was just thinking, man, I am lucky to be here. This is yes, such a are. great place. Yes, we are. So an iconic, I mean, that's that's my whole childhood looking at those. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, that was, that was fun to look at. So definitely you have some year round and seasonal opportunities so that there's some flexibility for the job seeker there. Correct. Great. And um, what's what are the key things that you're looking for in an applicant? How do I know if I'd be a good fit? Well, one we're, one, one of the things, and I, I do a lot of presentations uh, similar to this, and one of the things I will say, in order to work for Pursuit, you don't have to be perfect, which is good because I'd never be able to work here either. But one thing you do have to do, you have to be nice. You have to be respectful. And so we're looking for people like that, that, that want to be part of a team. We look for people that um, are ready and willing to learn. Here again, none of us 
uh, and I won't speak for you, of course, but none of us knows everything. Uh, and so here again, being able to understand that uh, from the time we set foot on the property, there are gonna be things that we're gonna learn, things that are gonna be specific to that particular property, things that are gonna be specific to your manager and things that are gonna be specific to pursuit. So we are looking for people that want to learn, we, that have a, a modicum of flexibility. So that's a big part of what we're looking for. And as time goes on, someone may start out working at Grouse Mountain Lodge and may decide the next summer that maybe they wanna work at the Belton or maybe they wanna work at uh, Glacier Park Lodge, or maybe they want to work at St. Mary Village. Uh, they could work at Prince of Wales if they're a dual citizen. So if they're Canadian and American, uh, they can work at Prince. But uh, so that's what we're looking for. We're looking for flexibility. We're looking for punctuality. I mean, here again, are you able to show up for your shift on time? Because we run pretty lean. We don't hire a lot of extra people just because we think they might be fun to have around. So if we hire you for a schedule, it's because we really, really need your help and we really need you to work that schedule. It's definitely good to know going into it. Um, so with the flexibility piece, though, naturally, we all know that summer is our peak season and you need to be very available. But in our shoulder seasons, uh, is there more opportunity for flexibility in, in at that time of year or do they really need to plan to come in and be super focused on being available for the schedule that's there? The only soft season we really have, and that's a very good question, by the way, we have a bit of a soft season in uh, late October and November. Okay, because as you could well imagine, once Thanksgiving hits, we start being busy Thanksgiving and then we rush right into ski season. True. And so the hotel is very busy again, right away for ski season. For example, right now is middle of April, which in a lot of, for a lot of properties, that would be considered sort of the soft season or the shoulder season or the mud season. If you're like me and you come from the ski industry, um, but we're busier than heck right now. So there's no, we, we don't have a lot of downtime. So if someone wants to come work and get some hours in, we definitely have the opportunity for them to do that. Wonderful. So we're seeing that there are um, a lot of people who are now changing professions due to some of the situations we've uh, endured through COVID. And so they might be looking at hospitality now, but don't have previous experience. Mm -hmm. do, do they have good options to join you? Is there a good training program? There absolutely is. And when, before, when I talked about the culinary experience, for example, the executive chef for Grouse, uh, Chef Mark Macarola, we actually hired him. I was lucky enough to drag him away from the Arizona Culinary Institute, which is in Scottsdale, Arizona, where he was one of the chef instructors there. So we think we've gotten really, really good and we're getting better at making people help them in the transition from either no appreciable culinary skills, or maybe the only place they've ever been is culinary school, helping them make the transition from culinary school to full up high ops tempo kitchen. We think we're, we're the best at that. We really do. And if somebody is interested in a, in a, in a career in hospitality, there's a lot of ways to start. One could start in housekeeping. Uh, one could start in public areas. One could start washing dishes. One could start in the dining room as a food runner or a restaurant attendant. And here's an interesting thing. So I work with a lot of hospitality schools across the country. Uh, a few of them are top 10 in the world, such as UNLV Las Vegas. Now we're bringing in UNLV students from that are graduating from school that come work with us on an internship that their first internship is in housekeeping because eventually if you want to be a manager in the hotel business or or in the resort business you better have a good understanding of how housekeeping works and not just where it is i mean more to it understand really dig down into it and understand how housekeeping works because it's so important to the business and it's so important to the guests so we start out a lot of people in their hospitality journey in housekeeping as a matter of fact if someone has no house hospitality experience we won't put them in a front desk role because that's a really, really difficult job. And to, to succeed in at the front desk at a larger hotel such as ours, you really need to understand the flow of the hotel and how things work. And we would not ever want to put somebody in like that in a position they're going to fail. So a lot of times we will start people in housekeeping in public areas and things like that. 
Wonderful. And it's encouraging to know that you're focused also on the success of your employees. Mm -hmm. That that speaks for a good environment. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Okay. Uh, so remember, everyone, that you can watch the recording of this panel and all other panels at WorkforceFlathead.com and on Job Service Kalispell's YouTube channel. Thank you, everyone, for attending this webinar. And thank you, Randy, for taking the time to talk with us today. I'll go thank ahead and share your information again.